Today I want to talk about dominant seven chords on the mandolin. So there are three types of seven chords often used um, when making chords on the guitar, the piano, the mandolin, um, the banjo, and they are the dominant seven, the major seven, and the minor seven. Today I just want to talk about how to make dominant seven or just plain old seven chords on the mandolin. So what you do is you take the one, three, five notes of the chord, and then you add um, the seventh note of that scale lowered by a half step. So in the case of G, if the seventh note is um, F sharp, then the note you're gonna use to make a seven chord will be F. So um, <clears throat> the G7 chord I use, you put your first finger on the F note, the first uh, fret E string, second finger on the second fret A string, third finger on the uh, third fret D string, and fourth finger on the fourth fret G string. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and that's a uh, G7 chord. Let me show that to you again. First finger on the first fret E string. Second finger on the second fret A string. Third finger on the third fret D string. And fourth finger on the fourth fret G string. Um, <clears throat> there aren't a lot, heck of a lot of, <clears throat> um, I apologize. I don't know why this is happening to me. Uh, I don't use the G7 very often, um, but if I'm playing the Beatles, I do. So, uh, it's worth learning it. Um, some other common seven chords are A7. So do your regular A chord, which is first finger on the second fret G string and second fret D string, uh, second finger on the fourth fret A string, for C sharp, and third finger on the uh, fifth fret E string. So we have A, E, C sharp, and A. That's your A chord. Uh, and now you want to make it a seven. So what is the seventh note of the A major scale? So it's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp. So to make it the dominant seven, you lower it by a half step or one fret, making it a G. So you want a G, you want some, to find a G somehow. So the G I use is this one. Uh, which is the um, uh, fifth fret D string. And the way I um, play it with this chord is I put my fourth finger on the uh, fifth fret D string and I get the seven chord. Now that's a bit of a stretch for a lot of people. So uh, to be able to do that, I recommend um, practicing my fourth finger exercises and I've uploaded videos already to the YouTube channel that describe the four finger exercises. So all you do is just go to the mandolin, play, mandolin lesson playlist and in the search bar at the top, just type in fourth finger exercises or just fourth finger and scroll down until you find it. Um, to just limber up that fourth finger so that you can use it to stretch to the seventh and eighth fret um, to, you know, make seven chords and so on. All right. All right. So let's uh, do uh, the D seven chord. So the D seven chord is very similar in shape to the A seven. So you put your first finger on the second fret G string. That's an A. Second finger on the fourth fret D string. That's an F sharp. Um, third finger on the fifth fret A string, that's a D. So there's your D chord. 
Uh, and then you take your fourth finger and bring it around and put it on the fifth fret G string for a C. Why C? Because the seventh note of the D major scale is C sharp. And remember what you do is you lower the seventh note by one fret or one half step to get the, the seven note. Um, so I'm sure there are other ways to get a more efficient uh, seven chord, but because I use these chord shapes all the time, the A, it's more convenient to use this D7, A7, sorry. So A, A7, and because I use this D form all the time, it's more efficient for me to use this form of the D7. Like I said, the G7 is very rarely ever used, um, but um, there it is in case you want to use it. Um, <clears throat> so other seven chords like E7, um, e, the E7 form is really, really useful because it's a movable chord, so you can move it up a fret for uh, F7, you can move it up to two frets for F sharp, uh, seven or just F sharp. You can move it up. It's a movable chord, so you can constantly change uh, its position and get uh, different chords out of it. <clears throat> so if you recall the E, you start with your second finger on the fourth fret G string and your first finger barring the D, second fret D string and second fret A string. See how I'm doing that? I've got one finger over those four strings. Um, and then finally your third finger on the fourth fret E string. So the, the E chord sounds like this. And like I said, this is a movable chord, right? So you can do E flat or F. F sharp, G, <laughs> G sharp, A, right? So it's a really great chord. It's very useful. Um, e minor, I've said this before, but the E minor that I use, I just lift up my third finger off the E string, but I keep my first and uh, second fingers in place. And that's the E minor chord I use. Uh, okay, let us let me show you the E7 chord. So get, get back into your E major position. And now you're going to take your fourth finger and you're going to put it on the fifth fret A string for a D. And it sounds like this. Why, why D? Because the seventh note of the E major scale is D sharp. So you lower the seventh note by a half step or one fret in this on the mandolin, and you get a D uh, note. So here's the D7, the E7, sorry. So with this form, you can make it an F7, F sharp seven, G G7, and so on. All right. Um, so that's A E D. Uh, C, I don't really use as a seven chord that much. Um, the seventh note of the C major scale, if you count up from C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, is B. So to make it a seven, you lower it by half step, which is a B flat. Um, <clears throat> I use a two finger version of the um, C seven chord with a B flat uh, and an E. It sounds like that. It's kind of a uh, awkward sound, but it's a, it's a um, short version of the C7 chord. Um, so that's, uh, what else do we have? I think that's it. There, of course, there are other chords um, that you can figure out on your own. And just remember the rule of thumb is to uh, have the one, three, five of the major chord, the major triad, and add the flatted seventh of that scale. So like I said, if it's uh, F sharp, you're gonna change it to an F. If it's C sharp, you're gonna change it to a C. 
If it's B, you're going to change it to a B flat and so on. Okay, I uh, hope this is helpful. I've put links to reach me online uh, in the description below. You can post a comment on my website or uh, you can comment here and I'll do my best to try to um, re respond to your comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.